When did you first decide that you wanted to become a composer? When did I first decide or to become? Or how did you decide? Well, there's a different b difference between writing music and being a composer. Uh, when I was six, I took piano lessons. I was not a remarkable young pianist. But I always thought it was perfectly normal to play what my teacher gave me to play and to make up music of my own. I didn't make a distinction between uh, learning what I was given and making up things of my own. And I remember um, as a child, I had, I had a cousin who played the cello and we'd get together on Sunday afternoons and play. And both of us could read music perfectly <coughs> well. But it never occurred to us to use music when we played together. We just made up stuff. Uh, so I always made up music. But I always thought that I would be a performer. Uh, and it was actually fairly late in life. I was in college before I decided that I wanted to be a composer. But again, it's not really I think a very healthy limitation to just be a composer. I, I, I think it's more important to be a musician. In fact, I get very emotional when I hear people refer to composers and musicians. It's like re referring to uh, lawyers and people. Well, all uh, all lawyers are people. Not all people are lawyers. All all composers are musicians, all composers aren't, all, all musicians aren't composers. I think that a composer is really one facet of being a musician. To be a performer, to be a, to be a conductor, to appreciate music, to know the history of music, to know the theory of, of music, to be involved in the business of music, earning a living. It does say on, on my tax return that I am a, a composer because I, I earn my living writing music. But I think of myself really not as a composer, but as a musician. I simply live in the world of music and make music. Because I think that for a composer to write music, he has to understand the needs of performers and to be a good performer, you have to understand what the problems of composition are. So I think all performers need to have some experience in composing to be good performers, to know what it's like to have to take musical ideas and develop them into a big structure to get from here to there on the page, to understand the problems of notation and shapes and forms and drama. It's all tied together.